Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the most buzzword of 2024 in the tech industry. You might have already guessed. Yes, it's about agents. So we've been hearing a lot about agents, agentic automation and agentic AI, a lot about the agents especially, right? So uh, I wanted to share some things with all of you, like especially when I heard about this. So when I heard about what these agents can bring to the workforce, what they can do for all of us. And uh, I was really curious. I was a little bit confused as well, but I was really curious a lot to see about what's there behind these agents, how they can actually perform like this and, uh, you know, what they can bring to the workforce, basically. So I wanted to explore a lot around it. And that's in where I came up with this video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about all of this. And as well, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how these agents can help us in our real day to day life and uh, how we can build the agents as well. Uh, but yes, in today's video, I'm going to talk about a lot more about agents and then uh, what's the comp you know especially the difference between the LLMs and the agents how different they are from the actual LLMs that we are using and uh, yes let's get into the video and see so basically to explain you about what these agents are in layman's language just consider an example so let's say you wanted to have a uh, you wanted to plan a vacation basically so just consider this agent like a travel partner or a travel guide who can help you with all the things. So let's say you wanted to, uh, if you go for booking a package in a travel agency, what they usually do for you? They book your flight tickets, they give you an itinerary, they book your hotels and all of that, right? So the same thing an agent can do for you, that is like a digital assistant, which can help you with all of your stuff based on your schedule, based on your, you know, your uh, wishes, and it can be actually customized basically personalized as per your need. So how this actually can be done? What is there with these agents? What's behind these agents that's, that's helping you, uh, you know, helping us to bring up all of these in action? So basically, the agents are uh, a combination of a lot of things. Like it has the large language models. It has generative AI. It has, uh, you know, something called as large action models, which can actually do the actions for you, right? And it also uses a lot of tools. Uh, so because of all of this, it basically has that autonomy in order to do the decision making. So if I tell you, like, uh, in 2023, we all know about chat GPT that has been, you know, taken over the revolution in the tech industry, right? So every single person uses chat GPT. So today, uh, if I just give you a small comparison between, because both of them uses LLMs, right? So if I just give you a small comparison between how this um, chat GPT is different from your agent. So I'll just give you one small, maybe a use case or an example to explain or to differentiate between these two of them. So basically, uh, everyone, I think most of you have interacted with chat GPT. So whenever you ask the question to chat GPT, in order to bring an answer, there will be a lot of multiple interactions that you usually do on the chat GPT, right? So let's say you ask uh, chat GPT, so based on, uh, you prompt it uh, with, a, you know, something like this, like I wanted to go on a vacation for, you know, Las Vegas and I have 10 days and I'm a person who enjoys beaches, just give me the itinerary. So it just gives you, based on your schedule, based on your interest, it gives you the itinerary, right? But it, it cannot go and book a hotel. It cannot go and book a flight, right? So that, there's nothing in action that's getting done over there. And also sometimes what happens, uh, you will be asked some more questions and you, you have to prompt it back in order to bring up that particular response that you are looking for, right? So all these things like uh, this prompting back and asking questions and all of that will be taken over by your agent. So your agent will have that capability to decide, to decide, to make the decisions based on the connectivities that it has, based on the database that it is located with, connected with basically. And also it can, you know, the agent itself have the capability to decide for you to get that, you know, it, it doesn't brings out the first response that it gets on a prompt. 
it keeps deciding until it gets the proper response it keeps prompting and getting the response and it it checks whether that's what you want or not and then it keeps you know it decides yes or no based on the loop it keeps on iterating it decides for you it has an ability to think for you and then to get the best response that you actually need right so that is how an agent itself has the capability to decide whether the response is uh, you know the expected or not so that's how an agent is built in. so for that particular agent if you prompt it with a task if you assign a task to that the main difference that you can bring up over here is it has the ability to interact with something called as tools. So it can interact with tools. So let's say you ask your LLM, what's the weather outside today? Just a normal question, right? So based on, uh, it doesn't have the capability to interact with the real-time tools. So let's say your agent have that capability to interact with APIs. It can get the accurate weather condition out there, right? So like that, with the, this, the extra capabilities that your agent has, it has that uh, autonomy to uh, do the decision-making and also it has that ability to have, uh, to, uh, uh, you know, to uh actually give itself a particular role so let's say you give a role of content writer it can bring a content writer role to itself because it has generative ai and it can actually work like a content creator in order to give the best content for you and in order to you know script a proper blog for you and all of that and not just that it has the ability as i mentioned you to uh to have the connectivity for around different tools so in that case, because of which it can actually make the best output for you. So this is how an actual agent is different from the LLM. So there are actually a lot more to that. There are multi agents and a lot of stuff around it. You can also build the agents by yourself. So I'll just explain you in the next video how this can be achieved through the best way possible. Till then, let me know in the comments how did you like this content and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.